The purring game. What's it all about? Do different purrs mean different things? The sound, the tone, the frequency. And those deep purrs, what does that mean? In this material, I'll give you a brief crash course as to the notable reasons why cats purr, how they purr, and the potential meaning behind those deep purrs. As always, I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Cats have a few calling cards, and make no mistake, the purr machine is one. But what exactly do purrs indicate? Is it always an expression of happiness and contentment? Purring, just like your cat's meow, is a form of communication. However, so much of what your cat is trying to tell you often depends on overall body language and your cat's current environment. As for the reasons, I'll try to make this short and sweet, if possible. And if there is any suspense, I'll squash it right now and state the obvious. Most of the time, for the most part, your cat's purrs are an expression of contentment, relaxation, joy, however you want to frame it. If your cat is cuddled up next to you on the sofa, a good petting session is underway and all is right with the world, your cat will most likely purr. And while some senior cats, well, that purr machine could be a bit worn out and in need of a tune-up, even the oldest of the old will continue to purr, although your best bet will probably be to feel it rather than attempt to hear it, but yes, contentment, purring for this reason, is at the very top of the list. Having said that, let's swing things in the opposite direction. Do cats purr when they're in pain? Some felines do. Purring can act as a self-soother, and if your cat is attempting to calm down, purring can act as a self-medicator and a source of pain management. What about attention? That's correct. Your cat purrs, if they can be heard, those purrs from across the room, sure, it could be a cry of happiness, but your cat also knows that those sounds will perk your ears. If your cat wants something or needs something, they'll purr, being that those purrs are just another form of communication, as we noted. In this case, the purrs are just like the meows. It's time for food, time for water, time to play. Your cat will never be able to truly speak your language, but they are well equipped with the tools to press your buttons. Moving right along, what about territory? those sacred boundaries, do cats purr at each other? At times, they do. This typically happens when a friend is greeting a friend. This is an indicator of no harm intended. I come in peace. Many cats will use the purr on other felines in an attempt to stop any form of aggression before it ever begins. And while the right players have to be on the field for this to happen, it's not too uncommon to see cats in a multi-cat household purring at each other as a means to safely navigate the home without any threat of confrontation. Now, we all know about the hissing and the clawing and perhaps the biting, but do those scaredy cats purr? Yes, in some cases. In this example, the purr serves to uh, be the same effect as attempted pain management, the self-soother in both instances. Stressed cats will purr if they see no other way to change their immediate environment. However, this is, of course, very circumstantial and will certainly not occur as a simple default to stress and fear. And when it comes to the how, you can't talk about purring in any capacity without touching on this one. But a cat's purr is not a body purr. It doesn't come from the belly, although the vibration feels like it's all over the place. The sound originates in the larynx and the diaphragm when your cat breathes. As relaxed air travels over your cat's vocal cords, the sound manifests as a low frequency vibration. This is why most of the time purring is in fact done during a period of contentment, as relaxed vocal cords make all the difference. Okay, now that our foundation is in play, let's talk about that deep purring. The loud purring, I mentioned just moments ago, hearing your cat from across the room, it happens. And let me say that deep purring and loud purring, that alone, is normal and fine and is not, at least on its face, an indication of a problem. Especially if your cat has always had a purr for the ages. I have three cats, and the female cat, she's about to turn eight years old and about the size of a football, and her purrs are almost as loud as her meows. The motor is always running. All I have to do is say her name, and the light starts flashing, and the party's on. It's like a blue light special at Kmart back in the 1980s. If you remember Kmart, let me know in the comments section. <laughs> 25 decibels, give or take. That's the average purr. Somewhere in that ballpark, some cats sound like a whisper that you can barely hear. Others sound like a hum, and some cats 
like a remote control car moving across your living room. This not only speaks to the sound itself, but the deepness and the richness of the purrs. Your cat's purrs and meows are in many ways comparable to the human speaking voice. Some people are naturally soft and some folks have that booming voice. The old school made for radio voice, American Top 40 with Casey Kasem, that kind of voice. The only time that your cat's deep purr should become or could become a point of concern is if the richness of the purrs has changed in a rather sudden fashion. Are the purrs not only deep but also labored and a bit broken, almost like a car attempting to start but failing? It's possible, and this is even more notable in older felines, that some level of respiratory distress could be at play. Your cat's purrs and meows seem to have changed and become a bit gravely and raspy and just a bit off. Get things checked out, especially if the new sound continues beyond one week. To the wonderful audience of Senior Cat Wellness, does your cat have a very rich and deep purr? Can you hear your cat from the other side of the room? And hey, do you own a small cat with a big and bold purr? Any stories to share? In the comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching. And as always, I will talk to you later.